Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Today I am doing an unboxing from Easy Craft Art. They contacted me and let me choose some diamond paintings for free so that I could present them to you in an unboxing and post review format. So I selected a special drill, a round drill and a square drill. So let's get started. We'll do the little one first, which is most likely the special drill. So you get your standard toolkit. And I selected this um, I guess you'd still call it a mandala, even though it looks it's like a bit more of a rhombus mandala. Let's move you down a bit. Or a square mandala, I should say. So it's sufficiently sticky. There's seven special gems with it. And I mean, it's not fully covered, but there's a decent amount of coverage on this. It's only really that black or that navy blue sort of area on the outside here that isn't covered the rest of it's pretty solidly covered so uh very happy with that uh you can see the drill field is nice and clear so it says it's a 30 by 30 um so we know that's probably going to be something like 24 and a half or something let's have a look So yep, 24 and a half by 24 and a half. So it's poured glue and here are the special gems. So we get two bags of uh, symbol one that looks like it's an AB. I don't think it's luminous. And again, AB, if you don't know, is Aurora Borealis. And so then you've got some rhinestone. So you've got nice green, orange. I love these ones that like they change between a pink and an orange. So I, I really like the colors on those ones. Uh, you've got a clear one but looks like it changes a bit as well with colors I can see pink and greens and stuff in there a slightly larger pearl but shiny pearl and your marquee cut in clear that also picks up very different colors so I reckon that's going to be really quite beautiful when it's made and it will be a nice quick project to do in between doing big projects. So as this was gifted to me and I was given a budget in Euro, I will give you the price in Euro. It was four Euro and 90 Euro cents which apparently is what a euro cent is a euro cent so that's what I know to say now although I still like saying baby euro so it was four adult euro and 90 baby euro and I really like it I think for a 30 by 30 that's quite pretty and I'm going to enjoy doing that one so let's put that aside that was so much easier to pack up than usually my bigger ones so here is number two it seems to be a bit stuck in the middle. Hmm, there we go. So this one I got, uh, again, a very much along the theme of my Asian beauties. Uh, it does seem like some of the glue is... We'll get to that in a minute. But let's have a look here first. So you've got... Uh, you're oh, slightly different than a standard um, toolkit because you've got a slightly larger um, rectangle of wax and you've got a multi-placer on your pen. There's the drills. We shall get back to them. Ta-da! 
So this one is uh, some spider lilies and um, a face with some spider lily eyelashes. And I just think this one, it was gorgeous when I saw it. So I have actually done something very brave and taken the plastic cover off completely at the moment because it was barely covering up the top there. It was um, getting quite exposed on the glue, but yet really far covered there. So I am going to attempt to put it on from scratch. So while we've got the cover off, we'll have a look. Um, so this is a round drill. There's 31 colors. So I really do like this image and it's very clear. I'll bring you it down. So the drill field is really, really clear. Uh, it looks like a combination of numbers, letters and symbols were used. So there's two, there's the legend, there's one of the legends there. So there's two legends, one on each corner. So yeah, they've gone one to eight straight down with numbers and then the alphabet in order. Sorry if you can see it there, then the alphabet in order and then a couple of symbols to close it off. So I can't see that there's going to be a problem with the drill field. As I said, it looks all really clearly printed. Oh gosh, I am in love with this image. This is just beautiful. So this one was or this one is listed as six adult euro and 40 baby euro or six euro and 40 euro cents now let's have some fun and try and get <laughs> this cover back on pretty sure i took it off the right way yes yes so yeah just wants to Course, if this doesn't work and if my skills aren't good enough I'll just delete this part of the footage so you will never know how good or bad I went <laughs> there we go so that's covered around enough but yeah there's definitely a lot of plastic left over it's not a perfect cover but it's a bit better than it was when it arrived so that there's a fair amount of coverage around the whole piece. So this is advertised as a 40 by 40 canvas. So the picture itself will be just over 34 and a half by just over 34 and a half. I'm just going to put the canvas aside for a sec because I've got a bright enough background to see the drills. Where does the colour train start from? We'll go backwards and we'll start from colour 31. And I'll bring you in. That's as far as we can go in, so let's go. I'm not going to even try and describe the colours because, as you all know, I'm very bad at that. So <laughs> we've got colour and another colour and a colour. There's another colour and a colour. If you can hear a uh, noise in the background, that is Luna playing with the discarded bag that all this came in, the mailing bag. So she's a bit hyper today because she's been used to going out uh, as the weather was sort of getting nicer here. Um, but today's a rainy old day and a really cold one in Melbourne, so I'm not letting her out. And so now she's being hyper and running around the house like a, a mad woman. And now she's found a bag to play in, so she's a happy girl. So there are a lot of nice colour. I dare say that would be your 310. There's a few bags of that. Um, but there's a nice range of reds and burgundies in it so that it will make those flowers really pop and they look like they're decent uh, drills they're the silver lined bags there's generally not really any problems with those ones 
uh, they all look rather good so I shall pop all this away and we'll bring out the next canvas and the lucky last canvas is a square drill so this could be either poured or double side adhesive you'd never know until you get them I think yeah I'm thinking it's poured yeah yahoo it's a poured square so I'm very happy with that one and as you can probably see already it's a tiger or a tiger and it's a 40 by 50 so let's bring that out <gasps> make Sally happy it's all pre-bagged there's your toolkit so you get your two multi places you get your pen the more flimsy uh, tweezers but tweezers regardless uh, two lots of wax and a tray all right so it is gorgeous tiger I love tigers if they ever domesticated tigers and I could keep a pet tiger I so would they are beautiful this one is a 40 by 50 so let's have a look So 38 and a half by 48. So that's all right. That's not too, like, that's a reasonable amount of loss of the picture, to, in my opinion. So let's just flip it the way the actual uh, canvas is printed. So all the symbols are facing this way. So when, if you uh, want to do it the way the tiger faces, you will be doing your symbols on a 45, no, a 90 degree angle. But this is the way the symbols are printed. Now, as you can see, there's two legends, um, 35 colors, DMC codes included. Let's have a look at the drill field. Just gorgeous. I love my tigers. So the drill field looks printed really clearly. And what have they done with symbol wise? It's a mixture of symbols, capital letters, small letters, and numbers, but in no particular order. So they're a mixed bag. Yeah, it's printed really clearly. Boop his nose, and yes, he's sticky. And they're all sticky. I, I have tested their stickiness, but I think I forgot to mention that doing all of them. So they are all significantly or sufficiently sticky. Mr. Tiger was 12 adult euro and 79 baby euro or 12.79 euro and euro cents. <laughs> so. Let's have a look. This is 35 colours. And look who's come to join us if it's not little troublemaker herself. Let's put them out and see that we've got them also. Can you see someone's little paw? <laughs> she was thinking about coming over and grabbing a bag, but she stopped there. She knows better. <laughs> anyway, so there the drills. There's 35 bags present. I haven't put them in bag number order. I've just put them in a grid of 35 and there's 35 bags there. The bags have a lot of good detail on them. All the detail you need. So the corresponding color on the chart, your DMC code and the quantity quality quantity I got the word right the first time so the square drills as I said and look they look okay from looking at them through the bag but like with everything you don't know what they're going to be like until you start working on them and that goes for all of the kits I've shown today they're all looking good and all colors are accounted for so let me pop this away and bring all the canvases back for final thoughts. 
so here are the three canvases that were kindly gifted to me from easy craft art on first impression i love them all um and i got i think a good example of a special around and a square they're all printed really nicely and clearly i can't see a problem in reading the drill fields uh, i love all the images all of them are really quite pretty the drills looked really good on first inspection with all of them um, but as i always say you never quite know what it's going to be like till you start working with the drills but at this stage it all looks really good so i am really quite pleased with these three canvases i don't know if you can see little luna's paw there again she's holding it down for me or she's holding the little tiger's paw she's holding her ancestor's paw <laughs> So yeah, so uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of these canvases. Have you dealt with Easy Craft Art and what's your experience been? I will put links in the description below to the store and these canvases. So if you are interested, that's where you'll find it. Also, the wind has just picked up here as well. Uh, so if you hear a lot of gusty noise, I do apologize. That is the way it's a weird old weather day here. Uh, in Melbourne it's spring but it's um, been really cold and damp and stormy and then a bit of sun and now it's cold and damp and stormy again so I do apologize if you can hear the wind in the background so moving on thank you everybody for watching if this is your first time watching my channel thank you very much and please consider subscribing that would be wonderful and if you are a returning viewer thank you also everybody please hit that notification bell so that you don't miss my next uploads i am slightly tweaking the channel but most of the changes won't come through till next year 2022 um, but i might slowly start um, listing three videos a week um, between now and the end of the year and hoping that that will become a permanent thing next year so the best way to know when I've uploaded is to hit that notification bell so everybody please stay safe stay weird boop a tiger's nose I actually don't do that last one unless it's a picture of a tiger <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next one bye